Yeah, hit greens and hit albino. I'm going. Okay, so this here, this here is actually. Stay here, baby. I'm right these here. These here are actually right from here. a white Burmese, which is really rare. Like, we have the only adults in the world. There's actually one other one that I just remembered that one people I got it from had one more, and this is the father of this clutch. And these are actually het for green Burmese, which is a patternless green Burmese. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. They are, and they're and they're uh, they're het for white. Man, that is incredible looking, doubled up. So this, the green Burmese actually looks different as a baby, the hats for it. And these are hat for albino, which doesn't look different except that ours would seem to be lighter, the ones that we produced that were at albino. So this one's actually, like I say, it has three genes in it. So it's kind wow. of a neat, neat crossing. Ooh. So we're going to cut them all open because we don't want any to drown. And you never know, sometimes when you're crossing new things, you get brand new, wow, these things are really unique looking because of the genetics. So we let them start to hatch, and one started to hatch, so we don't want anybody to get to drown in the eggs, so we actually open them up big like this, so when they come out that they can actually get a breath of air, and if they come out, it's like this guy's already breathing air. He's completely, he's wow. completely, he's almost ready to come out, literally. He, uh, he is like, he's already absorbed his yolk. Oh my God. So he's actually done. That's crazy. He just had a little tiny, he really has nothing left. But look at that, look at that, he's like a blue-eyed leucistic. <laughs> Isn't that wild? That is so bizarre, it's like showing right through the first time. That's just weird. No touch, baby, look at that. So the blood's normal, it's nothing, you know, sometimes people, oh, what's the blood? Well, wow, look at that, snake. They're incredible looking. <laughs> Every good <laughs> Gee whiz. Look at that snake. I'll take that one tree. Look, man. Look, Nicholas. Is that crazy? What color are those eyes? <laughs> it's almost like a, it's it's like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a leucistic, but with a pattern on it. It's like an, I don't even know how to describe it. Super. Man, look at wow, that. Wow, that's pretty. That is beautiful. Look at the eyes on him. Come on, pop, pop your nose through, girl, boy. So, so now he'll take a breath and he'll absorb like his other one. Man, that is beautiful. So these came from a patternless albino green. White. Dang, they're beautiful. This is the only ones ever produced from a white snake. But I think there's been one or two more. That, I think there's been one or two more produced, but I don't think they're alive. I think there was one. Man, they are almost white. They have a faint pattern on them. It's Why weird, this one's dead? dark. Isn't that weird how much darker that is than the other ones? Oh, that one's looking more like that one. Wow. That is a weird snake. Looks to me like everybody's gonna do good. I always kid around, I call them Super Sundays. Cause I love it when eggs hatch on Sunday. That's my special day of the week for eggs. I used to cut the eggs whether they're ready or not. <laughs> now I let them. I, now I let them start. As long as they're close. I mean, when I say ready or not, I mean within a day or two of hatching. I used to just always say, "Okay, you're hatching on Sunday." Now I just let them do it whenever they're ready. Now, of course, every one of these is the same genetically. I don't know why that one looks so much different. But they vary. They're all varying a little bit. Like the shells are so leathery. Yeah, they're like leather because they actually grow and then they absorb their yolk and, and they start to short shrink back down. See how they're all concave? And they actually shrink back down. Where's my two headed one? <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. There's a two headed one? No. 
He was just hoping. All look good. Every single one. Every single one looks really good. I don't see anything wrong with any of them. That's obvious. Wow, that thing looks this funny. The eyes are black like a leucistic. It's just so bizarre, just like their father. Their father's eyes look like that. I mean, they're just incredible looking. That's making my cage. No, they want snake and Yep. This one's really out. I mean, he's got his whole yolk absorbed already and everything. He's the one that. Yeah, see, he's just done. He's got blue to the top of his head, blue eyed. Blue eyes is coming right through. It's got a unique pattern, too. Wow, that is beautiful. That's a gorgeous snake. The pattern's like really unique in the back because of the green and the. And it's the green, the green hat and that both combined make the pattern look almost aberrant, striped. Very nice looking snake. Looks very good. You just go ahead and sit there. I know you're you're out out to go already. He slit this. He actually slit early this morning and already absorbed all his yolk. That's he he timed it for we to make sure that nobody else would drown. So nobody drowned. So he did it did his job. Warn us when everybody else is ready. These will all come out tomorrow, probably. Stick their heads out later tonight and wow. and take a big breath and and uh, wow, that one's even different than the rest. See, that one's like white. That one's white and this one's kind of brown gray and this one's kind of in between the two with pink in it. That's pretty unique. Anyway, another wild clutch. Figured everybody would enjoy it. You guys didn't get to see this very often, wow. right? So we'll have to see how they turn out later. Take care, everybody.